Janet Hardy, blogger and joy strategist from Chasing-Joy.com. And this is Baby Joy Chaser. Yeah, and today I wanted to do a short video following up off of my Week in the Life of a Single Mother by Choice series. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that series um, where I vlog a whole week of my life with this little guy. And I had to, it was long, so I had to break it up into three videos. But I really wanted to give um, an accurate account of what a typical week is like in my life for anyone who is considering making a choice to become a mom on their own, a single mom by choice. So, um, basically, when I was reviewing the videos and editing, um, I realized. Well, I won't say I realized because of it. I already knew. But it made me want to discuss, um, I guess, I don't want to say shortcomings, but some of the areas where my life is lacking because of my particular lifestyle. Um, I'm not blaming the baby, but just it's evident in some ways. So, um, one, I'm tired. So as you saw through the videos, I am tired by the evening, and my son sleeps through the night, so, and that is a blessing. Not all babies sleep through the night. I have a friend who, her son, I don't know about now, but up till two years old, he still was not sleeping through the night. So he sleeps through the night, and I'm still tired, um, because there's just so much stuff to do, because they're so busy, which is why I keep looking over there, because he is messing with the drawers, um, Anyway, um, so being very tired is a common trait of, of motherhood. Um, I've never been married or had a partner or co-parent. No, don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> he has a thermometer. It doesn't work. <laughs> He's put it in his mouth. I need to throw it away. Um, yeah, I've never had a co-parent or a partner, so I can't say that... I'm more tired than the average mom, but you know I think being tired just comes with um, comes with part of the motherhood package. Um, but overall, I feel like I'm I'm well. Like I don't have I don't think like dark circles or anything. Or um, I'm not usually falling asleep at work. If I am, it's because I ate the wrong things. Because heavy carb stuff makes me sleepy. Um, Another place or area where um, I struggle, maybe that's a better word, struggle, is housework. And one of you viewers who I blocked um, felt the need to tell me in t two separate <laughs> times um, this person commented on my house being messy. Now, if you, have been, if you have been following me for a long time, then you will know that I have always said housework is not my strong suit I, I joke and say cleaning is not my ministry <laughs> um and i struggle with that always my mom used to clean for me to pay her my mom would clean for me before she got sick yeah. yeah um but cleaning has never been my strong suit and my house is not filthy it's not yeah. like a danger to the baby but it's messy and there's a lot of clutter and part of that is because I used to share this house with both my parents. And when my dad passed away, my mom moved all his things. I thought she went through his things. I don't know why it didn't register that she never got rid of any of it. She just put it out of sight. So when my mom passed away, I had two people's things to go through. And it's been three years since my mom passed away. And I have been going through the things. Um, I went through a lot of her stuff initially, and then I kept some things for sentimental value. And then as there's been some time and a little bit more healing from the grief, grief, um, I've gotten rid of other things. But it's a process, and it, it really wasn't things that I wanted someone else picking over. So there's a lot of stuff in this house, um, which makes it a bit cluttered. So, 
the person who commented actually said, I see your house is still messy. And then went on to explain how basically I, I felt like she was saying I was going to be a bad parent, that I wouldn't teach my kid how to clean up after herself and things like that. And that she could compare it to herself because she is a 10-month-old. And one thing I've learned, do not compare your lifestyle, your motherhood experience to anyone else's. You don't know their life, their struggle. So I did not appreciate that. And I did reply saying, you know, if my house being messy bothers you, feel free to not watch these videos. I do not get paid from YouTube to do videos. Um, YouTube doesn't like me for whatever reason. They said I violated something. So I do not make any money from my YouTube videos. I do this because to me it's important to share. I do it as part of my brand for my blog. Um, and because I, like I said, I feel like it's important for anyone who's thinking of this lifestyle and anyone who, who follows me and likes the things that I share to give them a bit more of my life. So basically this is voluntary. So if it doesn't meet your standards, don't watch because I don't have to do it. So, and you don't have to watch. I, I never understand why people comment negative things on social media when you, no one is making you watch or read. So. I didn't appreciate that. But that being said, yes, I admit I definitely struggle with housework. And I have before a baby. I definitely struggle. After. Actually, I'm better at it now because I have uh, more motivation. Um, but you can see through the week, it ha it is a struggle to, like, get, like, a lot of cleaning done. And really, as soon as you clean up, if you do, if I do while he's awake, it's dirty in 10, <laughs> 10 minutes. Or if I do it during the day before he comes home, once he's home, everything's messy. And then I'm tired often when he goes to sleep. So that is an area where I struggle. Um, I mentioned my niece lives with me. And not all the time, but sometimes she is really good with cleaning. And she'll go through these phases where I'll come home and the house will be clean, like, regularly. And that's nice. Um, you want to come up here? You want to be in the video? Yeah. Video? So, hold on, guys. Hi. Say hi. No, don't turn it off. So, housework is definitely an area that I struggle with. Another area is my diet. So, I've been overweight my entire life since uh, puberty, basically. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it was really puberty. Um, and I was had lost weight. I had gotten better at it. Um, and the key really is for me cooking ahead of time, meal planning, and things like that. And I'm getting better at finding the time in the day to, to get those things done with him. But I'm def I definitely struggle to have meals prepared ahead of time and to find time to cook several meals at once so that we have quick meals. And so I definitely eat out more than and do take out for both of us more than I should. So I definitely struggle in that area. Um, another area where I struggle is dating. So I definitely want to be married one day. Um, I've always wanted to be married. Having babies solo was definitely my plan B as my biological clock was ticking. And lo and behold, I would have fertility issues. So I'm glad I went that route because had I waited till... Who knows, you know, I really might have missed my window. But I don't have a lot of time to date. Um, and I actually have a lot of anxiety about him being around strangers. So that's definitely an area where I'm struggling. Um, I do have an arrangement with my niece, where not the one who lives with me, another niece, um, where she watches him. I'm sorry I'm rocking in this rocking chair. Can't help it. Uh, but she watches him two Saturdays a month. So eventually I hope to have to go on some dates on those Saturdays. But dating is definitely an area where I struggle. So go back. If you haven't seen any of those series of A Week in the Life of a Single Mom by Trish, you can check it out and see what my day-to-day -day is like. But, yeah, those are areas where, you know, I, I struggle and have difficulties and challenges. Um, getting enough sleep, clean, cleaning enough, meal prepping enough, and finding time to date. So it's all related to time. Time management is the biggest challenge because all of your time is devoted to someone like that. Can you say hi? Hi. 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 
Look at your face. All that milk on your face. Ew. Okay, guys. So, this has been another video from Arlette Hardy, blogger and joy strategist at chasing-joy.com. If you have any comments or questions that are... Um, not borderline insulting, please leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, bye, -bye. Um. bye.